From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA for April 22nd, 2022, with breaking news as new stimulus checks have now landed by direct deposit. And we'll go over the breaking news unfolding that's huge, great, and changing by the minute today. We'll go over the latest developing details on that student loan debt forgiveness. As the White House late yesterday said, complete student loan debt forgiveness is on the table. Then the day started with the White House saying the Build Back Better Act is going to the finish line. We'll go over why the economic data at issue today is going to help it. Then Jay Powell spoke at an INF meeting yesterday and gave us guidance about what he's doing with that interest rate spike for the month of May's FOMC meeting. We now have the definitive answer. What does this mean for your SS300? All the latest details in this big recording today. Then we have one country and a series of countries that are not getting off of Russian oil and one country that did not increase but actually decreased production as oil shortages continue to grow in the month of March. How does that impact your economy and six stimulus? We have the latest details on that front as well. Then we have one two states that are sending out state stimulus checks more could be coming right behind them why is this happening and what is my prediction for your state to have a state stimulus check landing as well that's coming up in today's recording plus commodities like bread and wheat continue to go higher and they could even go higher than where they are right now this is as shortages because of ukraine continue to grow across the board from the west coast to the east coast, to the shores of the Black Sea, and to the shores of Santa Monica, California, major developing details today as new stimulus checks have now landed by direct deposit from the federal government. I'll show you how to get them. Exciting details starting right here, right now, as Afternoon's Alley heats up with a state stimulus check landing in other states as well. The latest details start right here on Afternoon. And good afternoon, everybody. For April 22nd, 2020, this is Afternoons LA. With three days to go until our two-year anniversary, we have huge news as new stimulus checks have now landed by direct deposit. Joe Biden, your president, has sent them out. Meantime, state stimulus checks are landing as well. Which states? How do you get them? And what's going on with these incredible depositings of massive sums of brand new checks? Student loan debt forgiveness and major developing details is that new debts could be forgiven by the end of the day as other debts were forgiven yesterday. Wow, this is incredible great news. The Federal Reserve giving us guidance yesterday about what they're doing for that mark, that May FOMC meeting. The White House giving guidance about student loan debt forgiveness for the first time in several months. And then breaking developing details on Build Back Better Act as well, which is where we're going to start today's recording with for April 22nd, 2022. The White House gave us indications yesterday off the record about what it's doing with Build Back Better Act and where it sees the U.S. economy going. The Build Back Better Act is the Four Symbols Recon, passed by the House, sending in the Senate. And we have two Four Symbols Recons, or two Four Symbols, as I should say. We have the congressional bill, and then we also have the executive orders, Four Symbols, that the President has done and could do more this coming week. Let's go over what's going on with the bill. New guidance from insiders of the White House say the White House is teeing the four stimulus build back better up bad better bill up for a vote in the next few days. This is as economic data continues to stagger, falter, come short up in the last few days. We'll go over that data in just a second. But a new guidance from an insider at the White House as well in the last 24 hours signals that the U.S. economy could be shrinking. I already told you it is, but is their guidance shorter 
or bigger than I'm projecting. Let's go over the details of what's going on. The US economy has something called the gross national product. In fact, every country has it. The gross national product. If the number is positive, it means the economy is growing. If the number is negative, it means the economy is shrinking. In the case of a negative number, it means you're a recession. In the case of a positive number, it means you're in a boom time. So the US economy currently was projected to be growing at 7% and it came in at 6.9%. Miss. Then Wall Street analysts said it's likely to drop to 4% by the end of the year. My projection is no. My projection is less than 1%, 0%, or maybe negative percent, because I'm projecting the U.S. economy to be full recession by 2023 for two years. So what did the White House say in view of the latest confirmed economic data that we're at 6.9% GDP growth right now? What did the White House say about its projection for later this year when Wall Street says they have it at 4% growth? The White House insider off the record said 3.7%. Wow. So number one, the off the record comment says Wall Street has it wrong. The insider of the White House says the U.S. economy will actually shrink faster than Wall Street thinks it's going to shrink. Interesting. The second part of the quote was also a little bit off point. Why? Because the insider said, this is good news for the White House. Why is it good news? <laughs> because when you compare this number to other economies, it's actually a better number. The White House insider said that when you compare the number to the United Kingdom, it's 3.7% projection, South Korea, 2.5% projection, and 2.1% for Germany. So the United States projecting 37 from this Walsh, Walsh White House insider is good news, according to that individual. Not in my opinion. I don't agree. Why? Because those economies are smaller, South Korea and the United Kingdom, and they're not expected to grow as big as the U.S. economy is expected to grow. So I don't see that as a good point. I don't agree with that. But let's see this 3.7. This is fascinating because that would mean at an economy currently at 6.9% growth, we're going to shrink to 37 by the end of the year, and it's going to be less growth than Wall Street is even projecting. Boy, now why was the comment off the record? Because it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. It means that something in the White House's economic policy is not working if the economy is shrinking. The on-the-record comments from Byron Deese, the head of the Economic Council, Joe Biden, that Yaley, is that the U.S. economy is doing great. It's not doing great. And that is why Build Back Better Act is likely to go to the finish line in the next few days days, says other Wall Street, Wall, White House insiders. Why? Because when you look at the economic data at issue, there's a lot of missing points. First, we just had the GDP as a major missing number. Then we had the non-farm payroll jobs created the prior month, missing by 60,000. We had the housing starts, the number of homes sold per month, four months consecutively down. And that's not good news because guess what? The latest number that came in this last month was also down as well. Then we have other numbers across the board that falter, like the mortgage rate, highest level of a generation, 5% mortgage rate compared to 3% just days ago in February. This is why it's big support for Build Back Better Act, because remember how it works. When the economic data is weak, they want to give you help. When the economic data is too strong, they don't want to give you help at all. Is there any economic data that's strong? Yeah, the unemployment numbers were strong. We're going to see where they are today as well. But the unemployment numbers last week are the lowest number of unemployment claims new per week since the 1960s. Lowest number of a generation. And the number of recurring unemployment claims, the lowest we've seen since the channel launched two years ago. 1.9 million reoccurring unemployment claims compared to 17 million a year ago. Can you imagine year one of this channel? It was over 20 million at the time. So this good news for Build Back Better Act is that the economic data is very weak and then they need to get it done. The second good news for Build Back Better Act is the White House's other insider says that they want to get the U.S. agenda back on point with U.S. domestic policy. That's you. That's your money. Away from Ukraine. They say there's been too, too much focus on Ukraine and it's going tired to the U.S. electorate. U.S. electorate is tired of hearing about money to Ukraine. And what did the White House do yesterday? Uh, give another $1.5 million to Ukraine. Excuse me, correct that. $1.5 billion. <laughs> Americans are getting tired of that narrative and they want to see more attention on them. Now, let's make a let's make a calendar check. Where's Colin? Can you bring her in? <laughs> let's make a calendar check. It's currently in April. The midterm elections are in November. If you want to get money to someone, the money needs to go out 
from uh, if you want to get some money to someone before they vote in the November election, you want to get the money to them at least two months ahead of time because the voting by ma ballot by mail, excuse me, is usually two months ahead of time. That would be October, September. Then you want to get the checks out the door before September. We're talking about Build Back Better Bill. That would mean they want to get it get it out, out the door by August. To get it out the door by August, you want to have the vote far before August. You want to have the vote in July or June. And to get it done in June, you have it wrapped up by May. Yeah, look how it's right there. We're really right at the edge. Now, the great news is that new fourth stimulus checks have now landed by direct deposit. Let's re-explain. There's two ways for things to become a law for fourth stimulus Congress voting on it, or the president doing it by executive action. And the president has now done new stimulus checks by executive action, and they've landed by direct deposit. Oh, boy, it's exciting, great news. And they're huge sums of money. I'm going to show you how to get these big checks for direct deposit in just a second. Meantime, states are now sending out state stimulus checks. That's coming up in one second as well. Late old yesterday, on the front of economic news, we had a major statement by Jay Powell. He's head of the Federal Reserve. His comments are very important because of your SS300. And what did Jay Powell say yesterday? At the end of the day, you saw it on Evening's I Like when it broke. It was a late day comment. He said that for the month of May, that day FOMC meeting, I'm doing a half basis point. There we go. I said he was going to. In fact, I said the next two FOMC meetings, he's doing a half basis point. Half basis point gives us clarity and guidance. It also gives us security that he's trying to bring down inflation, but also means it won't work. <laughs> it won't work. What was the comment first? Let me give you the comment, then I'll give you the analysis. j Powell on Thursday said it's absolutely necessary to restore price stability. That means to reduce inflation. It's appropriate, in my view, to move a little bit more quickly to raise interest rates. I also think it's something that we need to front end load, front end load to make accommodations that's appropriate. I think 50 basis points would be on would be on the table for the May meeting. So what does front end load mean? It means that you want to come in more aggressively on the front side. And then if you're if you have enough done, then tailor it off. That currently means 50 basis point for May. That means 50 basis point for the next meeting. But is it going to work? It's not going to work. It's not going to work. I got to tell you why. Wall Street analysts, ironically, I can tell you for the first time today, because this is breaking news as well. Wall Street analysts were looking at a three quarters of a basis point. Excuse me? I'm sh flabbergasted. <laughs> They were going to 0. 0.75, not a quarter, not a half, but 0. 0.75 for this May meeting. Yeah, and so the reason why Jay Powell came out at half to say half is because there was so much fervor, 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 <clears throat> rumor. <laughs> I choose a word that I can say. Choose a, can you, who gave me this script? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there was so much chatter of three quarters of a basis point. People are getting a little freaked out more than looking at Nancy Pelosi's hair. Uh, so they said, let's do a half basis point. That's what Jay Powell said. Now, why did Jay Powell give us guidance like that? It's one I've been telling you for a few weeks, folks. It's not because it's actually what's going to happen. It's because he wants to talk the talk, not walk the walk. My analysis, here comes the analysis, has been co-signed by other Wall Street analysts as well in recent days, is that Jay Powell does not have the tools to bring down inflation. Why? First, inflation is really hot, folks. It's higher than anyone would project it, and he's late to the game. He misprojected inflation initially, and now he's late to the game. Last year, Jay Powell said that inflation was going to be 1% to 2% and transitory, temporary. I said, no, it's going to be 8% in December. Had he listened to me, he would have moved quicker. <laughs> Had he listened to me, he would have moved quicker. He didn't, and suddenly inflation was 8% in December. It was 8% in February, January, February. Then March, what happened just days ago? It came in higher than 8%. This is after Jay Powell did a quarter basis point increase. He's light. He's not doing enough quick enough. And that is as consumer price goods really have now surged. Have you seen it at the supermarket? I think you have. Have you seen it this week? I think you have. The consumer price index number released last week showed the price escalation of your goods in the month of March compared to February, and it's an astronomical, astronomical increase in 30 days. Gasoline went up 11% in one month. Ouch. Fresh fruits and vegetables 
and also your general fruits went up 3% in the month of March compared to February. Oh my goodness. And then general food went up 2%. Wow. Overall, the U.S. economy showed a 0.3% increase across the board from March to May, March to eight, from February to March. Ouch. That is really too hot. That is why he's too late to the game. Inflation is likely tracking it more than 8% right today, which means that if Jay Powell trying to reduce inflation, he may be late to the game, but who's not late to the game? This guy, this guy's not late to the game. If he swaps your cola for inflation, what's an issue? Joe Biden had promised when presidential campaigning and then as president-elect at his presidential platform of JoeBiden.com to swap your cola for inflation. Cola is your current benchmark. Inflation is the benchmark they want to replace it with. If they replace that cola for inflation today, we're at over 8% today, folks, then that will give you $200 more per month, not just this month, not just this year, but lifetime. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Where is inflation going to be later this year if they swap that cola for inflation? I'm projecting it's going to be at 4%. Jay Powell, 1.9%. Come on, Jay. Does anyone buy that? That's talking the talk. Jay Powell's trying to talk down inflation because he doesn't have the tools to reduce it that quickly or that severely. So if Joe Biden makes that swap from cola to inflation today, you'd lock in $200 more, month, more per month. It's huge. And then if 4% inflation kicked in later this year, that would happen as well. How does this work? Your benefits are assessed based upon a benchmark. Every December, the best benchmark is looked at. Last year, the benchmark was cola. It was 5%. You got cheated because inflation was 8% at the time. Yeah, you got cheated by 3%. So your benefits went up, but not as much as they should have gone up. But if Joe Biden makes that swap from cola to inflation today, you get it. And then another hundred dollars later this year. That's SS three hundred. So what is Jay Powell trying to do? He's trying to reduce that inflation by raising interest rates. Is he going to raise interest rates? Yeah. Is it going to work? No. <laughs> That's my projection. Why? Because the reason that inflation is hitting the U.S. economy right now is threefold: three types of supply chain disruption. Supply chain disruption number one is coming out of COVID. We're on lockdown. Then we came out of COVID, we'd have truckers. You know what that's the first supply chain look like. Then the second supply chain disruption was Vladimir Putin. Putin accounted for a lot of goods internationally. They're out of the equation because of embargoes. That was supply chain disruption number two. Supply chain disruption number three, no one saw coming, including me, including Jay Powell. It is China supply chain disruption. China, my friends, is on severe lockdown because of the subvariant of Omicron right now, causing cities like Shanghai on complete lockdown. Shanghai is a city that is larger than many U.S. states. With that, our products made there can't get back to us. Our products that we buy from them can't get to us as well. Supply chain disruption number three, j Powell does not have the tools to bring down inflation. That's the translation. That's the summary. And he's going to raise those interest rates. You're going to have higher interest rates, higher mortgage rates, higher car loan payments, higher student loan debt payments, but you're not going to have lower inflation. <laughs> but you are going to get your SS300 if Joe Biden makes that swap from cola to inflation. That's how the good news works. So now let's go to the other big shocker of good news, despite J. Powell's confusion. Was that major news by the White House last night? that it will forgive more student loan debts. Before we get to that, I want to give you the big surprise. State stimulus checks are coming, folks. <laughs> yes, congratulations. State stimulus checks are coming. So far, two states have actually indicated they're going to do it. They haven't called the vote for it yet, but they're likely to do it. The first one is Pennsylvania, $2,000 to its residents. The second one is Maine, $500 to its residents. Will other states be doing it? Yes, in my opinion. Viewers keep on asking me, what about my state? What about Kentucky? What about Michigan? What about this? Folks, if I know your state, I'll deliver it on a camera. And as soon as, and if I miss your state and it did do it, send me a private message. But as soon as I know your state, I will deliver it to you on camera. I believe, and I'm usually right about this, that you're going to see a lot of new states doing these state stimulus checks. And you're going to see them in the next few weeks. Last night, someone said, Tennessee's not doing it. I said, well, not yet. Just because you haven't heard it yet doesn't mean they're not doing it yet. So don't say that you haven't seen it yet, that it doesn't exist, because they're just getting started. What's at issue? Let me explain what's going on. It's called use or lose, at least on this channel. 
It started in 2020. Remember back in the first year of this channel? Yeah, as we approach our three-year anniversary this coming Monday, User Lose was first manifested under First Stimulus. First Stimulus had massive sums of money. And Steve Mnuchin in late 2020 were negotiating over second stimulus. Nancy Pelosi said the states were going bankrupt. Steve Mnuchin said they weren't. They have a lot of extra money. Nancy Pelosi said, no, they, they, no, they don't. I reported they did. Remember all that Moody's analytics I did at the time? I can even remember the, the line that I used to say. Steve Mnuchin said, I'm going to call your bluff. We're going to do use or lose. If you have money, you got to return it back to me by December that year. Oh, boy, did that work. States that acted like they were bankrupt, and California was one of them. We were not bankrupt. We had fortunes in the state. Um, he said, you use it or you return it back to me, and here's the deadline. And boy, did they start to use it. Now, what's happening this time around? This time around, third stimulus was passed in early 2021, the American Rescue Plan. And I guess Janet Yellen listened to Steve Mnuchin or watched what he did, and she put a provision in there as well. Use or lose. And the idea is, or the law is, I should say, not idea, law is, that the states have to use the extra money they have from third stimulus by December 2022 or return it to the federal government. Use it by December 22, 22, or return it. What does this mean? It means they're going to use it. They ain't going to return it. I don't see any state ever returning the money. It's just not, you know, why would they ever do it? It's money allocated to their state for either them or their citizens. Why would they return it? So, first up was Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania said we have the use or lose provision. We're going to spend it. Pennsylvanians should not choose between paying for utilities or groceries or children or childcare. We have the opportunity and the means to ensure they're not struggling to ensure their success. What does he mean by we have the opportunity? We have the use. We have the opportunity to use money here. So we're not going to return it. We're going to use it. That's basically what he's saying. I'm asking, this is the uh, the governor of Pennsylvania, Tom Wolf. I'm asking the General Assembly, which is his state legislature, to ensure, uh, to unite across the aisle for the sake of every Pennsylvania. And let's get the money out from the coffers, from the bank account, and into the pockets of Pennsylvanians. Wow. That was April 20th. April 21st, Maine said, we're doing the same thing, $500. What about your state? I'm predicting that virtually every state will do something. I got to tell you, I'm thinking that they will. I'll tell you why. One, they over-allocated in the third stimulus. I mean, you see this on the recording. You're coming up late in this recording, we're talking about the big money available still for you for third stimulus, separate from these other stim these excess funds sitting in the bank accounts of the state legislators. There's overcompensation by the American Rescue Plan, where they gave a lot more to states than the states actually needed. Common refrain of this channel. So I do believe that almost every state has excess funds. Now, let's make something very clear, because I always have this sort of strange narrative out there. Some people think that their state was never given anything. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Every state was given the same amount of money from the federal government based upon the population of the state. So it doesn't matter if your state is a Republican or a Democrat. It doesn't matter if your state is rich or poor. Every state was given the same amount of money for the federal government based upon the population size. So if one state has 10 residents and the other state has five residents, the one with 10 residents got double the amount of money than the state with five residents. Every state got money. So has every state used up the money? I don't think so. I really don't think so. And so what do I project for you? I project for you a timeline. Just what we were talking about a second ago with that Bill Bet Better Act, a timeline. When we look at the use or lose, it's faster moving. They got to use the money by December. That means they got to send the money out to you. Well, it has to land your hands by November. That means they got to send it out by October. This is the states. And for the states to send money out by October, they got to have a finished law signed by the governors of states by September. For the governors to have the bill to sign by September, they got to have the vote in the second legislature by August, the first legislature by July, because every state has two sites, like Congress, Senate, and House. And then if the start, if the second, the first one's by July, they got to have the bill ready by June. They got to start drafting in May. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so. I believe you're going to hear in the month of May, lots of states say, we have extra money. So we're drafting the bill in May. We're getting the vote in the first legislature in June, the second legislature in July. The, the governor signed it in August. Um, the check's going out in September, landing in October, November. We're not, use, we're not losing. That is the exciting news. So remember, stay with me. 
I'll be watching every single check. What's new for this channel that started yesterday is that the membership newsletter now features the state legislature's state stimulus checks. Have you become a member? You need to become a member. The link's at the top of the chat of the pin bomb. Become a member today to get these incredible checks. And now the membership newsletter now includes the state legislature state checks. Whether they are proposed or whether they're law. And if you want to know if your state has a stimulus check, you want to become a member. As new states come in, they will immediately be featured in the membership newsletter. This is why you have to be a member and stay a member. Because when your state has a stimulus check, you can't miss it. And I might not be able to record it on camera, but I will put it in the membership newsletter. That comes Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system. Out of nowhere, yesterday, the White House did something I never thought the White House would do. The White House's press secretary said late yesterday, April 21st, that complete student loan debt forgiveness is still on the table. <gasps> still? <laughs> We've never heard that expression. We never even heard it was on the table. Now it's still on the table? Well, that's really big news. This is huge, folks. I got to tell you, if you've seen a narrative changing on the White House's table or someone, you know, front lawn in the last few days, you've noticed it. The White House is suddenly taking stimulus checks out of the four stimulus recon, sending them out. Joe Biden is suddenly direct depositing new stimulus checks. Joe Biden is suddenly doing six executive orders about student loan debt forgiveness in seven days. Yeah, things are moving very quickly. So let me tell you the great news about the student loan debt. This is your seventh stimulus. Your seven stimulus, your student loan debt forgiveness. First, let's go with the breaking news from last night, April 21st, 2022. The president's chief, the president's press secretary, Jen Psaki, late yesterday said that complete student loan debt forgiveness is still on the table and that a final determination will be made in just a few days and that she believes that it'll be made by August 31st. This is breaking news today, folks. So we now have an indication when the complete student loan debt forgiveness would happen and also the magnitude of it. Let's go back and then bring it up to the present. The president first forgave student loan debts for individuals who became disabled after graduation. Then, the president forgave student loan debts for people who went to work in the nonprofit or public sector after graduation. Chef John Meyer, while watching this channel, got $9,000 of student loan debt forgiven for him. Great news from watching this channel. Congratulations, Chef. Then, the president did less, no less than six executive, six executive orders in seven days. The first one was... He had rolled over the date for when your student loan debts need to be paid by from May to September. But as Jen Psaki says, he's going to make a determination by August if you don't have to pay anything. So that was the first executive order. The second one was that the president said, if your debts are in default, he'll put them back into good standing. Wow, that was a big one. The third one was probably the biggest one I was jaw-dropping shock when I saw it. Remember when Liz Warren and Chuck Schumer were always talking about getting student loan debt forgiven? They had a lot of narratives and stories about why it should be forgiven. This was Liz Warren's. Students are the victims of fraud committed by universities against them. In many cases, their debts need to be forgiven. Well, guess what happened? The president did it. The president said if your student loan debts were the result of fraud procured by the university against you as a student, your debts are now forgiven. Wow. And we weren't done there yet. Before the press secretary's comment yesterday on April 21st, on April 20th, 20th we had the comment from the, the education secretary, who's Miguel Cardona, and his sub-secretary that said we are forgiving tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, potentially millions of other student loan debts by modifying the statute so more debts could be forgiven. I got to tell you, what I'm going to tell you for the first time on Afternoon's Allied, I think this came from that education secretary under Obama Biden. Remember his comment the week before? He says, he says Joe knows he can forgive a lot of debts. We passed the law under Barack where an executive branch authority, the president, can change law, can change the existing law's wording so that more debts can be forgiven. And that's what happened. That's what happened. 
the undersecretary to, to Miguel Cardona says, we are modifying the language so that more debts could be forgiven. That prior education secretary under Obama, was his name was John King. So what did Miguel, Miguel Cardona do on April 20th? Miguel Cardona, and get your pen and paper ready, because I'm not good when it comes to debts and loans. I just admit that's not my forte. Uh, James Caval, who's under secretary to uh, Miguel Cardona, education secretary to you, said that we are changing the IDR credit language. IDR credit, write that down. We have ongoing rulemaking that allows us to take change the type of statutes of what should qualify for IDR credit. And there have been many potentials for us to improve those rules as we go forward. Here's another word to write down. Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program. They're also looking to add 40,000 new borrowers into that Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program. Write that down. The next one is Income Driven Repayment Plans. The credit will apply to those in some cases. How do you learn if you are one of those three or learn the other elements at issue? You go to the federal government's Department of Education. Look for the press releases by Miguel Cardona under press releases and then read what they're doing by the day and by the hour and it'll explain your opportunities across the board. Wow. In the second half of this video, we have your big opportunities. New stimulus checks have landed by direct deposit. The President of the United States has now sent out new stimulus checks landing in people's bank accounts by executive order and by direct deposit. It is incredible great news. It is for stimulus. It is now there. It is law. How do you watch for those checks? How do you get those checks? It's coming up in the great second half of this special report for April 22nd, 2022 on afternoons. Then we'll be turning back to six stimulus just briefly. That is getting off of that Russian oil. That's the largest stimulus package of a generation. But what did Germany say today? Germany, France, and the United States. And what is happening with France tomorrow, this weekend? French fries? Uh, maybe. <laughs> We'll go over what that means for six stimulus. And then I have a personal commentary in the final minutes of this video. Boy, we're getting started. We're just getting started. Stay with me. But have you become a member? You need to become a member. The membership link is at the top of the chat and pin comment. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Become a member because that is how you get these incredible checks. You become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. The link's at the top of the chat and pin comment. And then you'll get the incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. In the second half of this video, we'll be going over the big checks that members are getting, and you deserve them as well. So become a member. I'll see you back in 60 seconds. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, it's a big day. We're just getting started. And I'll see you back as Afternoon's Ally continues in 60. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues on a big afternoons of Afternoons LA for April 22nd, 2022. Are you excited? I am. As new checks, for stimulus checks, law checks, have landed by direct deposit. 
And I'm going to go over those incredible checks, these brand new checks in the second half of the recording. Then we'll be looking at the next checks that we come in right after that. It's huge. We're just getting started. Off to six stimulus late in this recording as we look to whether Germany is derailing the opportunity to get that six stimulus done. That is the trifecta of Germany, France, and the United States to get another stimulus package done late in April. Again, these stimulus packages overlap, and I'm excited you're here. And with that, we go into the big exciting news across the board. Uh, in a day like this, you certainly see how the White House is doing a lot of things by executive action. The White House is signaling that it wants to get things done. It wants to refocus the domestic agenda right away. And then it doesn't wait for Congress. So, what did the president do? The president has the Build Back Better Act bill in Congress. He believes it's going to pass. But he wants to do whatever he can do by executive action, ASAP. And he's done it. Two checks have now landed by direct deposit. They're huge. They are massive for stimulus checks by direct deposit. Joe Biden sent them out. They're a law by executive action. And we're going to go over each of these brand new checks. So exciting, starting right now. The first brand new check is $6,500. And some say it grows to as much as $12,000. What is this check? This check originally was in the Build Back Better Act at the second cluster, and the President of the United States took it out of the second cluster and sent it out. And how do you get it? What is this incredible check? Let's look at this big check right now. It's brand new, and it's so exciting. This is one of three checks that Joe Biden has now sent out, and people are getting them by direct deposit. Let's look at this big check. It is check A. Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check made law by Joe Biden by executive action in late March. The eligibility for this check is so simple. Single individual, $75,000 less, you get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, you can get it. And if you're on benefits, yes, you can get it. This is a check as well for SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits. The last eligibility is that you own your home. This is called the Homeowner's Weatherizing Grant Check. How do you get this Homeowner's Weatherizing Grant Check? The way you do it is you become a member. The link to become a member is at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Then get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. It's delivered 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. And it is incredible. When you go into that newsletter, you're going to see the first few lines is about the wheat, grain, corn, and gasoline prices today. And then right under that is uh, Check A. Yes, you'll see Check A. And it'll give you a little bit more description about that incredible check A. Then it'll give you the link, the website link. You click the link and you go right into the federal website. Then you choose your respective state, like Alabama. Then you choose the Alabama Home Weatherizing Grant check. And then you pounce and apply. It's incredible. It's huge. And once approved, the direct deposit lands about seven days thereafter. That is law, landing by direct deposit from Joseph Biden. Let's look at that next check, landing by direct deposit by Joe Biden. It is a fifteen dollars to $80,000 for stimulus check. Oh my goodness, that is a big check. It is. Joe Biden, again, took this, out of the, took this out of the Build Back Better Act bill and made it law by executive action. It's a four stimulus check. It is fifteen dollars to $80,000. It's landing by direct deposit. Viewers, on average, are getting about $66,000. Now, when viewers first applied for this check, their waiting time after it said approved was one week. I'm having some people saying the approval time is taking a little bit slower and the depositing time is taking a little bit slower. That is because the longer you wait, the longer, it, to, longer you wait to apply, the longer the wait is to get funded. So that is why you want to become a member. When you become a member, the link is at the top of the chat and pin comment, you get that newsletter. And in that newsletter, it goes over check B. Check B is under check A. Different website, click the link, goes into the nationwide website, shows you a map of the U.S. states. Then you choose your respective states. It looks like this. You choose something like Kentucky. And then it goes into Kentucky, and then you apply, and you pounce, and you get funded. Fifteen to eighty thousand dollar check B for stimulus checks landed. It's huge. Check B sent out by direct deposit from Joseph Biden. It's absolutely incredible. Then check A come in from sixty five hundred dollars from Joseph Biden. Both checks same income qualifications. Both checks are 
grants. They're not loans. You don't have to repay them back. They're not income. They don't disqualify you for anything. Then check C also being sent out by direct deposit from Joseph Biden. And that check is currently tracking at $2,000 a month for 12 months. What's going on? This channel approaches a three-year anniversary on this coming Monday, April 25th, 2022. And guess what? We've been doing this for over a year and a half. Last two years, we saw how it grew so quickly. In December 2020, when we think of the pandemic, there wasn't a lot of money around. And I searched for that money for you in December because of the holidays, you need money. So I found you something called rent, utilities, mortgages, this is more. And I said, go get it. People sometimes didn't understand me at first, and then they really pounced. Like Tyrone, his family for out of Boston, which did not have a lot of money at the time, got $15,000 paying all his rent from December to the spring. Then, in December late 2020, I had a piece of legislation, which was an exclusive document. And I said, I think this is going to become a bill and then a law in early 2021. I'm going to call it third stimulus. I coined the expression. I said, if it becomes law, it has the same amount of monies in there, the same items in there for rent and utilities, but just a lot more money. I said, if I train you how to get this money now in late 2020, you'll clean up if this becomes law. And guess what? It became law. Guess what? I said you can get about 15000 when it became law. You cleaned up. You got on average $45,000. That's what I do on this channel. That's what you do as a viewer. I train you and you clean up. But you're going to see in a second how viewers have really trained themselves so well by watching the videos. The canals are doing even bigger than before. These are the numbers for rent that viewers got. Look at these astronomical numbers of monthly stimulus checks, $27,000, $25,000 paid over a monthly basis. But this is the total number out the door. Utilities, we have Mark's brother-in-law who got $15,000. We have Mark's brother-in-law who got $25,000 a year for SNAP from this channel. Over the next 10 years, a quarter million dollars. Look at these combo numbers. 32000 Would you like 32000 Mark had 32000 I said, Mark, I'll get more. He got 50000 then he got 100,000. Then he got 166,000. Lorraine, she was at 105. Then she went to 120. These viewers keep on getting big sums of money. We had one viewer just days ago get three years of monthly checks. So, this, my friends, is check C. This check C is a monthly stimulus check averaging across the board. Because what happened? When this became a law, third stimulus in early 2020, I said, go get around. Viewers got around in early 2020. Then that summer, then, excuse me, 2021, then that Christmas, last Christmas, I said, go get another round. Three or four months, they did. It was Santa Stimulus. This spring, in 2022, I said, go get another round. Three or four months. Viewers said, no, I'm going to get a whole year. Excuse me? <laughs> they said, you've trained me well enough, Alec, by watching, I've been watching your videos. I think I can do more than three to four months. I think I'm going to try to do 12 months. I said, go try it. And they did. And one after another did it. And they got, on average, $2,000 a month over 12 months. It's absolutely incredible. That's the benefit of watching this channel. That's the benefit of the information for you. And that's the benefit of Third Simulus that absolutely has all this extra sums of money. And that is why you want to become a member. Because guess what? That membership newsletter features other places to get these sums of money from. Not just six places, but actually more places than that. You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city house authority. And your county hall, but where else are you going to reach out to? Let's go over the different places you reach out to because guess what? They're paying big sums of money, more than we initially thought across the board. You're going to reach out to a series of places. Let's go over them. City hall, city house authority, county hall, county house authority, state hall, and state house authority. Meantime, if you're a member, guess what? You're going to open that membership newsletter and you're going to see the additional six places for the nonprofits. So if you're a member, make sure you make at least 15 phone calls. Then you're going to say rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Reach out to all six places if you're not a member. But if you're a member, you're going to reach out to also the nonprofits because the nonprofits will bring you to about 15 plus places. And don't just do three or four months anymore. Do at least 12 months. That's why you want to become a member. Get these incredible checks. You deserve it. All you have to use is your telephone. See everyone in this video? You have the telephone. That's all you need. Pick up the phone and call. 
Who do you call? It's also featured in the membership newsletter. If this is moving too quickly for you, the membership newsletter breaks it all down as one very nice viewer last night said, Ellie, you make it so simple for people. I really want to appreciate it and tell them it's so straightforward. I really appreciate those nice comments. Pounce today. Get them right today. Become a member. Become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. The link is at the top of the chat, pinned comment. Then get that Chrome newsletter, Monday through Friday. Delivered 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. 10 o'clock Eastern, 9 o'clock Central. In that newsletter, you will have the details of check A. The $6,500 for seamless check landing by direct deposit. Check B. The fifteen dollars to $80,000 for seamless check landing by direct deposit. And check, check C. Those MSC checks landing by direct deposit. $2,000 a month on average right now. You deserve them. Get those big checks across the board. As we go into our final three days of this first year, uh, of, of the end of this first year, I'm losing track. Mm -hmm. End of the second year. <laughs> it's I, I'm, I'm sorry, wait a second. I just whatever. I don't know. We launched April twenty fifth, twenty twenty. As we approach our second year anniversary, that's better said. Uh, April twenty fifth, twenty twenty two, which is just three days away. We've learned so much about ourselves. We've learned so much about ourselves. And the one thing that puts us apart from everyone else is information. It's absolutely information. I had told you in the very first days of this channel that information is what separates people economically. People who don't know about something, they're left behind. People who know about something excel and go in front of everyone else. And I always said to you, don't worry if you feel like you know more than the person next door in the, in the block that you live, because that's going to put you ahead of that person next door. Along the way, in the last few days, I've seen something I've been commenting on in the recent videos. I want to say it again today. It's very important to understand that when you're watching a video, especially Evenings LA coming to, up tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, it's a jam-packed video. It's a one-hour broadcast. A lot of checks, a lot of details, a lot of money for you. And you need to have complete focus on the video because there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in the video. I recommend when you watch the video to have the membership newsletter in front of you. So when I get to check A and B and C and soon long death forgiveness is in the newsletter as well. I always forget to mention that. When I get to that particular item, you can follow along and then you have it in right in front of you and you're also watching the video. I got to tell you, there are some people that I've been trying to refocus. I think I've done a good job in the last three days saying, please stop asking questions when the video is airing about what's in the video that's answered by the video. For example, the video may say, and then uh, the vote for that is June 1. And someone will say, so when's the vote? He just said it on camera. Did you miss it? Yeah, I did because I was typing the question to people in the live chat. Let me explain to you. In the live chat, you're going to see people in all the videos. The live chat is not the video. I'm the video. <laughs> I'm the video. If you, want the, if you want the information, I'm the information. If you want the questions answered for you, I have the questions for you answered. Where? In the video. People think that people in the live chat have the answers for you, that they're the video. They're not the video. I'm the video. <laughs> I'm the guy with the plants behind him in the purple shirt. Do you see anyone in the live chat with purple shirts? I don't, I don't see anyone in the live chat with purple shirts. Do you see anyone in the live chat with plants behind them? They just don't. If you have questions, I'm the guy with the answers. I'm the guy with the answers. That's why I'm making videos. And I try to refocus people because people just seem to think you can ask anyone. i got to make this clear even more so today. When I talk about these checks, guess what? You're going to go to your local newspaper. It won't be in there. You're going to ask the person who bags your groceries at the supermarket. She won't know the answer. You're going to ask your banker, teller at the bank about this item. They're not. He's not going to know the answer. This is why this channel succeeds. And some people think that these answers to the, these things are out there. Some people think that other people know about these things. They don't. <laughs> That's why this channel succeeds. People did not know that EIDL even existed when this channel launched. People did not even know what PUA was when this channel launched. People have never heard of LWA. Maybe you still have never heard of LWA. They <laughs> did, do you know what PVP is? You Maybe you don't. Maybe you didn't watch me back then. So there's a lot of things that are moving parts that I try to get you up to date. You didn't know about state symbols checks 48 hours ago, did you? No, you didn't know about them. And that's how I bring you up to date. 
I have the information for you. So the live chat is a way to really interact with friends and family and, and have a great rapport with people that you have a commonality and interest. Uh, but it's not a place to ask questions. <laughs> Can you tell me the answer to... He's getting to that in a second. Just wait a second. Uh, because when you ask those questions about something that's clearly answered the video, you miss the answer in the video. And I make the videos in a way to make it self-explanatory to anyone from any educational level so you understand the answers. The person in live chat may not know or be respectful to your educational level and may say the answer too, uh, too sophisticated for you to understand or may give you the wrong answer or may not answer you at all. And then suddenly what happened is you spent your time waiting for the live chat to answer your question when yours truly is here mm -hmm. with the plants. So let's become a one in the same. <laughs> let's, uh, uh, we see each other. <laughs> we see each other. As one viewer said the other night in one of the live chats, uh, so one of the vo volunteers said, stop asking questions. He'll answer, LA will answer for you. The viewer said, stop interrupting me. Elliot's talking to me. <laughs> I guess I was talking to the viewer. I like. I sort of like that. I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, am I passing you tea and sugar? <laughs> am I, am I passing, passing you a side of onion rings? I don't know. Maybe I am. But, but if we have that focus, you and I, are my eyes hypnotic? Are, <laughs> maybe I should get those special, those special, um, uh, uh, le uh, uh, those special lenses where you know it sort of looks like you're in a haunted house. Where, yeah, I'm hypnotizing you. Am I hypnotizing you yet? Well, if I'm not, then let me try again. <laughs> so focus on me and focus away from the live chat to answer your questions because the live chat's not there for that. I am. And with that, if you have questions about what you see in the video, and you see you see in the video, and the video did not cover subject matter you want to have covered, and you think that there's another issue that needs to be covered that I left out completely, send me a private message on social media. I'll answer that question on air. You also, of course, have the membership community page as well. Coming up tonight is a brand new evening's LA at 5 o'clock Pacific Sound Time. Boy, we got a big show tonight. It's a one-hour special broadcast. But have you become a member? I got to say it again. Have you become a member? What are you waiting for? And when you become a member, stay a member. Because guess what? New checks are coming out every day. When you miss the check, you get later in the line behind everyone else. And eventually, you may not get the check when it comes by direct deposit. Become a member today. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Get them from the newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go to the front of this channel. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Then there's a little bell. Make sure you hit that bell for all notifications so you get that newsletter tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And with that, I'll see you tonight on Evening's LA, 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Last night, there was a lot of breaking news that came in, not just from Putin, not just from the United States, but internationally that impacted your wallet. It happened just minutes before I went on air. If you missed that broadcast, that was a big one. It may happen again tonight. It may happen all this summer because it is a time in which they're trying to get a lot of stuff done. Stay informed, stay focused. I'll see you tonight on Evenings Alike.